What's up guys, it's Dorian. I wanted to talk about GNOME extensions today. In my last video, I covered a lot of stuff that I do after I've installed Linux. I'll put a link in the corner here of my last video that I did. And I kind of skimmed through the GNOME shell extensions pretty quickly because I, I had a lot of other things to cover already and I didn't want to get into it too much and make the video even longer. So I'm making this separate video to specifically cover GNOME shell extensions. So what are extensions? Well, as you can see, I've already customized my desktop to look how I want it to. And some of these things involve using extensions. Extensions are add-ons that people write, kind of like a plugin, that will make your GNOME shell do things that it doesn't do normally. So examples are like the weather extension here, the eject removable drive extension here, places, which give you shortcuts to your different folders and other things like dash to dock and this one that I have up here, which I will show you right now. You will have to install the tweak tools. If you don't have the tweak tools already installed, open up a terminal and just do sudo app install gnome tweak tool. Install that, it'll ask your password. I've already got it installed, so it's not gonna do it again. And then you're gonna get this. This I covered briefly in the last video because I showed you how you can change your themes for your applications and your shell themes. And then I quickly ran through extensions and the dash to dock, for example. So without the dash to dock extension, you end up with the stock Ubuntu dock like so. But I didn't like it like that. I like to customize it. I like it to look like this. And one of the things also was at the top here, I don't like when this goes transparent. So I added dynamic panel transparency. Some extensions like this one, if I turn it off, it doesn't change immediately. And if you go into the settings, it doesn't change immediately. One of the things that you have to do is press Alt F2. It'll ask you to enter a command. You're just gonna put the letter R, hit enter, and GNOME shell will restart. So now, I don't know if you could tell in the video, but there's a little bit of gradient here. You could see it more clearly here. It's kind of a black to a lighter or darker gray. And I don't like this gradient. I want it to be straight black. So with the dynamic panel transparency, for example, I could turn that on, go into the settings, change the background. I want it to be 100% solid and I want it to be completely black every time. So if I go up here, now it's solid black. If your extension doesn't change right away, do the Alt F2 R and it will restart. So how do you get extensions? Well, you can use Firefox or Chrome or Chromium, and you're just gonna go Google GNOME shell extensions, and it'll bring you to this website, extensions.gnome.org this one here. Now the first time you load up, you'll probably get a message here saying that the extensions isn't installed. Depending on what version of Linux you're using, if you're using 16.04, you're able to just click install. A pop-up would ask you, are you sure you want to install? You would say yes, and then you were up and running. You just refresh the page, and then there's no more warning. It's a little different in 18.04. I found I had to go to the menu here in Firefox, add-ons, get add-ons, scroll to the bottom, get more add-ons, see more add-ons. And then here I would type GNOME, click on GNOME shell integration here, and then add to Firefox. That's part one. Part two, open up your terminal and you're going to sudo apt install Chrome GNOME shell and you're going to enter your password and you're going to install that. I've already done that, so it's not going to install, but for you, it will install. Now, when you go back, you'll also notice up here, mine's a little different because I hit it here. You'll have the little foot icon up here or in the overflow menu here. So you could just click on that and it'll actually bring you straight to the page. So now when you find an extension that you want to use, you would just click the link and turn it on. 
And as you can see, this one is already on. So let me find another one that I might find handy. Caffeine, click on that. So you can see here right at the top, someone posted on Ubuntu 18.04, it works. So chances are it's gonna work for us. Turn it on, install, and wait, there you go. You can see it installed here, and that's easy as that. So you really have to be careful what versions you're using. You're not gonna break anything, it's just, it's not gonna end up working. So now you wanna change your settings. If you've installed a GNOME extension and you're in the tweaks tool already, it's not going to show up. Will it show up? No, it doesn't show up. So you have to close tweak tools and reopen it so that it reloads the extensions. So now you can see here, caffeine, the one that I just installed. And sometimes there's a little settings button, which means you can go in and it has additional settings that you can set. You can also turn the slider off here and it will turn it off manually. And you can also turn off all extensions. As you can see here, Pomodoro, there is a little error loading extension here and it won't let you turn it on. But you can also see that there's no option to delete it. If you double click it, it brings up this Ubuntu software page or Ubuntu software window, but it doesn't let you do anything with it. There is a way to delete it. Open up your file manager and you're gonna hit Control H on your keyboard so that you could see your hidden folders. You're gonna go find the .local folder, go in here, share, gnome shell, extensions, and then you could see here, Pomodoro. So now we know this one doesn't work, so you can click on that, hit delete, now it's gone. So now if we were to close tweak tools, you're gonna hit Alt F2, enter the letter R, hit enter. It's going to restart and it'll reload the extensions in this folder. So now when you reopen tweak tools, go to extensions, you can see that Pomodoro is now gone. So now that you know where these files are, there's something else you can do as well. If you have a nice set of extensions like I have that I like to use, and you don't wanna to have to go in and re-download them and whatnot, what you can do is you could take all these folders and you can put them in a compressed folder, back them up on a USB stick, put them up in the cloud, email them to yourself, or you know, put them on an external hard drive. And that way when you're reinstalling a GNOME system, you could just paste these back in here and they'll come back. So I'll show you right now because I am on a multi-boot system, this is the old version. If I could just find local, share. So this is my 16.04 installation, which is on the same drive. So we go GNOME shell extensions. And as you can see in 16.04, I have a lot of extensions here. So which one would I want? Well, I have an NVIDIA graphics card and I like to have the temperature displayed up in the top corner here. So for that, I use this NVIDIA temp extension, which I don't have. So I can go into the GNOME shell extensions website and I can find it and turn it on, or I can just copy this file into this folder, close that. And again, Alt F2 R, enter, it'll restart. And now I can go into the tweak tools and I can go to extensions and NVIDIA GPU temperature indicator. Now, when I turn it on, boom, my NVIDIA temperature extension just loaded up. And this is the one that I copied from 16.04. So it works in 18.04. So if you want to be a nice guy, you can now go to the shell extensions website. It was this one. And I can put in a comment here, just log in and say it works in 18.04, which I'm actually going to do now because this will help other people who are looking for extensions. So that's pretty much it. It's uh, you could do a lot with it. There are some powerful extensions. 
you can, well, for one, I like to have my sidebar like this. There are other ones, uh, let's see if I can find one. If you like to have a, the top bar, if you want it on the bottom, you can do that as well. There's system monitor, which will put some additional information here. See some graphs on your CPU and memory usage. You can have them up here, so they're visible all the time. Status area horizontal spacing is one that I do use because it kind of squishes these in together. So I actually do like to use that one. So turn that on, install, close tweak tools, reopen tweak tools, and just get rid of this. So you can see how there's quite a bit of spaces in between everything here. So I can go in here, status area, and let's shrink that down. You'll see them come closer together. So you see that? Or you can make them go further apart if that's what you like. But that's one that I use because I like to have them all kind of squished in together here and not spread out all the way across the top. That's extensions. That kind of saved me some time in my video. That's it. I hope you find it handy. I hope that clears it up a little bit if you weren't sure what it is. And if you didn't even know about it, well, look at that. You could do a lot more with GNOME than, than you knew. If you liked the video, hit like, share it, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. I do have a giveaway coming up for a certain item. I'm pretty sure I know what it's going to be. As an additional bonus, if you are a supporter of mine on Patreon, you will get your name entered twice in the random draw for the prize. The giveaway is going to happen when I hit a thousand subscribers and I'm almost at 700 now so we're getting close and that's it yeah anyways you can also follow me over on twitter at dorian.slash so that's all for now guys till next time bash on. <laughs>